I'm going to tell you about a paper that I just read, which I think is one of the best papers and most paradigm shifting papers I've seen in a long time. Uh, this paper puts together the idea and comes up with supporting evidence that the immune system is fundamentally implicated in the mobilization of stem cells, in stem cells leaving the bone marrow and entering systemic circulation. Now, why this is important is because the stem cells usually live in the bone marrow. There's a high concentration of stem cells in the bone marrow. In certain conditions, such as a heart attack or a stroke, the injured tissue calls in the stem cells to leave the bone marrow and go to the area of injury. Um, also, mobilization of stem cells is important because in clinical practice, uh, when people get a stem cell transplant, Usually, in the old days, stem cell transplants were bone marrow transplants. You would take the donor bone marrow, you would take the donor, extract bone marrow from the bones, which is a very painful procedure, um, and you would inject it into the recipient. Today, in 2007, more and more people are actually mobilizing the bone marrow stem cells. They're giving a compound called GCSF, which makes the stem cells to leave the bone marrow and go into systemic circulation in the donor, then the stem cells are harvested, form the systemic circulation, and injected in the recipient. So why is this paper interesting, and what did they find? Well, this practice of mobilization, of making the stem cells leave the bone marrow, um, some patients, when you give GCSF to tell the stem cells to leave the bone marrow, the stem cells don't leave the bone marrow. And one subset of patients in which this is common is patients with a condition called SCID, Severe Combined Immunodeficiency. And these patients, their T cells and B cells are lacking. So the investigators of this paper, which I'm so excited about, they wondered what happens if we try mobilizing bone marrow into mice which mimic the condition of SCID. So as you can see in the first figure, on the y-axis is the number of mobilized stem cells colony forming units, the assay for stem cells. And on the x-axis is the controls at day, zero, at day zero. At day three, you can see after day three after GMCSF, there's an increased number of cells in circulation, and day six, even higher number. The white bars represent control mice, which have a normal immune system. The black bars represent mice that are skid mice, which don't have T cells or B cells. And as you can see, there's a lower number of mobilized cells in the black bars and the skid mice. They also shown this in the rag knockout mice, um, which lack T cells and B cells because of a uh, knockout in the recombinase activating gene. And they also show this in mice in JH mice. JH, JH mice, these mice don't have uh, immunoglobulins. So now the um, author said, well, if there is no good mobilization in JH mice, which don't have immunoglobulins, what if we give exogenous immunoglobulins? Can we restore the ability to mobilize by giving antibody? So the experiments were repeated. In this figure, you can see the, the skid mice. On the y-axis, again, is the number of, number of mobilized stem cells. On the x-axis is the controls and then a day six, and then day six after GMCSF plus immunoglobulin injection. And as you can see, the groups that had immunoglobulin injection had a higher level of mobilized cells, mobilized stem cells in response to, GMC, to, G, to GCSF. And you can see this not just in the skid mouse, but also on the rag knockout and the JH mouse. So this is saying that immunoglobulins, antibodies, are necessary for mobilization in response to GCSF, a component of the immune system actually playing a role. And why else is very interesting is because the mice which received immunoglobulin, even the wild type mice, they also had a higher level of mobilization. Um, immunoglobulins can be given IVIG, intravenous immunoglobulin, is clinically used. So one very exciting um, extrapolation of the paper is that poor mobilizers 
in poor patients who have poor mobilization, you can give IVIG together with GCSF. But now the paper gets even more interesting. Uh, they looked to see, the investigators looked to see whether the antibody that's given, is it just a non-specific activity of the antibody, or do you need special kinds of antibodies? So as you can see in this figure, on the, on the x-axis is the mobilization, and on the y-axis is different conditions. Only if you give wild-type immunoglobulin, normal immunoglobulin containing all of the different idiotypes of antibodies, only then do you get restoration of mobilization. If you give monoclonal IgM or monoclonal IgG, you don't see this effect. So the authors started thinking and looking at prior publications showing that when you give GCSF, there is activation of the complement pathway. Well, there's proteolytic enzymes being activated, and then other papers show that complements in, involved. So the authors looked at levels of complement activation, and as you can see in this figure, complement activation as detected by the mean fluorescence intensity, MFI, um, of complement degradation products is increased in the mice that received GCSF. So now the authors are wondering, maybe complements involved, so when they tried mobilizing uh, with GCSF mobilization in mice that lack the complement component C5, you can see on the right hand side that the mobilization is severely impaired. So why this paper is very exciting is because number one, it's telling us that you need immunoglobulin to mobilize stem cells. Number two, it's saying that you need complement. The complement ca has to cascade, has to be intact in order to induce mobilization of stem cells. So the authors put forward the very bizarre but exciting hypothesis that what happens is in the bone marrow, when you give GCSF, there's different proteolytic enzymes that cleave different proteins. When these proteins get cleaved, neo epitopes, neo, neo antigens get exposed. Um, and natural antibodies, which are preformed antibodies, usually IgM antibodies, bind and recognize these new antigens, activate the complement cascade, and this is involved in mobilizing stem cells. So, this paper, if anything, it tells us that one of the roles of the immune system is not just in protecting the host from infections, but the immune system also plays physiological roles such as control of mobilization of stem cells. Thank you very much.